Hello my friends. Pork is one of the most popular meats in the world, and the US is one of the leading pork producers. Every year, American farmers raise millions of pigs to supply consumers around the world. So how can American farmers raise millions of pigs efficiently and sustainably? In this video, we will explore the process of raising pigs on farms in the US. The United States ranks third in the list of countries with the largest pig populations in the world. Leading the world is China with 449 million pigs. And the European Union is second with 142 million pigs. US pork production accounts for about 20% of global pork production. This impressive number has contributed to bringing the US agricultural industry to a leading position in the world. In 2023, a total of 72.9 million pigs were recorded on US farms. Amongst them, domestic consumption accounts for 76% and exports account for 24%. The main export markets for US pork include Japan, China, Mexico, and South Korea. The United States has more than 63,000 pig farms of varying sizes and numbers. Pig farms are often concentrated in states such as Iowa, Minnesota, and North Carolina. Popular pig breeds are Yorkshire, Duroc, Chester White, and Berkshires. The Yorkshire pig breed is one of the most widely recorded in North America. They are found in most states, with the largest populations in Illinois and Indiana. Yorkshires are known for their lean muscles, with a high percentage of lean meat and little back fat. This is the process of inseminating pigs on a farm in Iowa. The insemination for each pig will last from 15 to 20 minutes. Currently, Iowa is the state with the largest number of pigs in the country, with about 23.4 million pigs distributed on 5,400 farms. After being pregnant for about 113 to 117 days, the female pig will give birth. Newborn pigs will stay with their mothers for the first few weeks and are warmed at a temperature of about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. During this time, piglets are very vulnerable, so they are carefully cared for by the farmers. Female pigs usually give birth twice a year and each time there are around 15 piglets. They will often sell some weaned piglets to people who want to buy young pigs at this stage. That money will help support food costs and upgrade barns for the remaining pigs in the herd. Every year in the United States, approximately 40.5 million pigs are born. About 1.5% of them will die soon after birth. Reducing pre-weaning mortality is a top priority for all US swine farms, regardless of size. At this farm, they will be exclusively breastfed for a month before being fed other foods. At about two months old, these piglets will be fed the same food as adult pigs. At this stage, the biological resistance of piglets is quite weak. So in addition to providing nutrients, they will also be vaccinated regularly to strengthen their immune system. We will now follow the farmers to prepare food for the pigs on the farm. After harvesting, the corn and grains from the fields will eventually arrive on the farm. Farmers will put them into machines to puree them. And finally, they are stored in tanks like this. According to the US Department of Agriculture, each year to raise about 72.9 million pigs, farmers will need to use 
up to 97 million tonnes of corn and 38 million tonnes of soybeans. As you can imagine, the cost of that food is quite expensive. It accounts for about three quarters of the total cost of raising pigs. Historically, pig farming has been concentrated in states that are leading grain producers. Sadly, this relationship is gradually weakening because the number of farms raising animals using organic foods is decreasing. In 2020, North Carolina and Oklahoma entered the top 10 most meat producing states, but neither of those states is a major feed producing region. That's because today, the majority of pigs are fed pallets that contain all of the necessary elements to keep them healthy. A ton of pellets costs an average of $300. A pig will eat about 4% of its body weight per day. Most pigs raised on large farms will be locked up for life. But you know barns are the optimal choice when running a large-scale livestock operation. Farmers can feed pigs according to their physical needs and ages easily clean their cages and control their health status. Typically, American farmers will ensure each pig has about 8 by 16 feet of space to move around. However, there are no standard rules for barn structure. It depends on the breed, age and economic conditions of each farm. This is the wastewater treatment area of a pig farm with over 4,000 pigs in eastern Nebraska. Wastewater, after treatment, is not only used to irrigate corn and soybeans, but also put into the cellar to prepare biogas. Free-range farming only takes place on small-scale farms, with a maximum of about 500 animals. Every day, these pigs will roam the pasture, play, or do whatever they want. In fact, farms of this type do not appear much in the US. However, pork produced from free-range farms is always sold out. This is a farm in South Texas, when pigs reach a weight of 40 to 50 pounds. Farmers will speed up the fattening process to sell to market. Most pigs are considered mature and eligible for slaughter when they are 6 to 8 months old and have an average weight of 250 pounds. There are currently approximately 2,750 slaughterhouses in the US. An average of 1,100 pigs are slaughtered every hour across the US. Upon arrival at the processing plant, the pigs will be anaesthetized with carbon dioxide before being moved on to the next stage. Pork processing can basically be divided into three areas, slaughtering, meat cutting and further processing. Two large blocks of meat will be processed by the cutting machine into small pieces for easy packaging. After cutting, the fresh meat will be packaged and stored in cold storage. They are ready for distribution to regional markets and export to markets around the world. Processing into many other products preserves meat longer and helps create a diversity of pork products on the market. According to 2022 statistics, pork production in the US is 27.3 million pounds and contributes up to 57 billion US dollars to the country's GDP. Thanks to modern technology and equipment, all products made from pork provide users with outstanding nutritional value and deliciousness.